Let's get started. Johanna's trait is iron skin. Hello, hello, good evening, Hots fans. Thank you for joining me for this Division D East matchup between Flying Solo and FC Hong Kong. First things first, thank you Infofox and Pickles2 for the follows. I really appreciate it. I hope you uh, enjoy um, the match tonight. And it looks like we have the um, draft going. We are going to Towers of Doom for the first map. So let's go straight to it. Okay, on the left side, we have the blue team flying solo. And on the right side, we have the red team, FC Hong Kong, with first pick, first ban. And they're thinking hard on who their first ban is. Are they going to do a target ban, or are they going to do the standard Stukov, Joanna, Brightwing ban? And they decided they're going to do it with the Brightwing ban. Okay, going with some standard bans. So that's going to leave um, Flying Solo to follow suit with a Joanna ban. That would be my guess. But they're definitely thinking about it. Towers of Doom, which is one of my favorite maps because anything happened. Ooh, Sonya ban. Sonya ban, indeed. Hey, Shy on Twitch. Yeah, you're cheering for um, your flying solo. I guess you're not playing tonight? Are you still hurt? Because I remember last time I casted you, you were hurt. Something with your hand or something like that. I hope you're feeling better anyways. And there's the Joanna ban. Okay. So, are they going to ban Stukov? Or, or are they going to um, give it to them? We'll see. They're thinking about it. I can't imagine. No, they decided to build Tychus. Oh, now your thumb is still bad after all this time. Oh my gosh. Well, take care of yourself, yeah. Don't play some gaming. You can't really play with a bad thumb. Oh, Varian's taken. Stukov is still open. Stukov Varian would be a really good combo there. So what are... There's Blaze, there's the offlane. I assume it's offlane and Anduin. Oh my gosh, Stukov is still available. Stukov variant, you gotta do it. Stukov taunt with a variant silence? No, Jaina... Okay, well you got the root. With the variant root, I mean variant taunt and the Malfurion root and the Jaina for the slow and or kill okay i like i like blue teams i mean red teams draft so far but blue team has anduin can always pull out the taunt target and hogger they are definitely doing target bans i love it targeting out the offlaners and sonya and hogger there's still a lot of good offlaners left there's leoric and um there is zul and there's also malthal Question is, does the red team play those? Or do they only play Hogger and Sonya or Blaze? And Diablo, okay. So tank bans on the right side because blue team still needs a tank. Still a lot of good tanks out there. There's Mirrodin. Kind of like a Mirrodin here. Oh, no, actually, I like the Stitches. Oh, I would love the Stitches. This is a great Stitches map. Grey Main. And a new rack. Okay, a new rack. They're going with the standard a new rack. He's always good because you got that cocoon. So, the offlaner for the red team and another DPS. Probably Vala's up. Wow, Vala's stayed out of this draft so far. Pretty long. But who are they going to counter Greymane? Maybe another blind? Or Tannis, maybe, for offlane? Oh, Uther! Double support! 
Uther. Oh, I like it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so that's uh, Solo Carry Jaina. So you got the Taunt variant, Stun Uther, Root, Malfurion, and Jaina just to kill him while the player can't do anything. Oh, my gosh. Blue Team's draft has a lot of CC. And there's Hanzo. Okay, so Hanzo and Greymane needs to stay back. Greymane can't go out too far until, until it's safe. <laughs> so much CC on the red side. Well, it looks like we have a lot of people cheering on um, FC Hong Kong. Let's go, Congers. Welcome to the chat, everyone. Hopefully this will be an exciting three-game matchup. I get, we could only hope. Well, look at the synergy. Or the synergy on the left side and the right side. I love it. You don't see that too often on both sides. Well played, teams. Well played. Okay, here we go. Game one of this Division D East between Flying Solo and FC Hong Kong. On the left side, we have Chocolador playing Anubarak, Jade Elysis on Anduin, Leonhard on Greymane, Willow on Hanzo, and Secret Swift on Blaze. And on the right side, we have Splendid Daddy on Varian, Postman Pat on Ural, Jay Tizzle on Malfurion, healer number one, Desda on Uther, healer number two, and Calyrex on Jaina. All right, we got King's Quest, Dauntless, Emerald Dream, Emerald Lightbringer, Lingering Chill, Legion of Beetles. Oh, Anubrak dies, but he misses! There's the root! Oh, and there's the Anubrak pull. Blaze with the counter stun. Lots of things happen, but healers are keeping everyone alive, especially on the red team. Lots of healers. All right, Power World Shield, Viciousness, Redemption, and a Drone Stim Pack. Oh, red team is not done here. They still want more. Blue team was starting to rotate, but they said nope. Red team's going to stay in the middle? They're losing silk and bottom. All right, blue team is going to be first on their camps. Because red team still has to pick up the mid soak and... Are they... Okay. The rest of the red team is getting to camps. Offlaners are doing offlaner things. Blue team gets their camp first. Are they going to invade? Oh! <laughs> Nubrak, if Varian had taunt there, he could have been... Well, no, the rest of the team is still focusing on the camp. All right. Uther's just going to try to get his stacks up. He's doing pretty good. He's got 39. Uther, Anduin, I mean, Nubrak goes in, misses the stun. All right, there's some damage already since blue team got their camps first. They got early damage on the towers. Offlaners, they look pretty even. All the action's going to be on the bottom. Four is a first reach by the red team. And the red goes in with the stun, but... Oh! Oh, oh wow! Hansel already finished his quest there. Oh, no, the red! Oh, so... Oh, he got the stun! So much CC on the red side! Oh, but Hanzo! What a counter kill on Varian! Oh! The double healers couldn't keep him alive! Yeah, every time a Nubrak or Greyman, if he goes in, there's gonna be so much CC. Like that. Uther is just trying to get his, his quest done. He, he, he's not going to put a kill. Not with a Varian. Well, oh my gosh. Oh! Hanzo picks him off from afar. Hanzo's going to be the wild card here. He's going to be safe 
safe safe as he can be in the back can they put any pressure on him that's going to be the question all right new back back they're trading objectives at the top as per usual and red team is gonna give yep oh but new back they might get a kill oh oh go wow grayman says stay off my tank Oh, but Fury, what's he staying in the back so far? Why was he there? Hanzo is cleaning up. Oh, very in. Oh, is there a taunt? No, a Nubrex. Guns him out and Greymate. Oh, they need to coordinate. They need to coordinate the taunt with their all their CC. Blue team is doing a really good job peeling for each other. All right, that those kills gives blue team a slight half level lead. Variants back up. Red team, I mean blue team's got no mana, so they're all hearthing. Blaze got a cap up top. Blaze has uh, a little bit advantages on top. He's got some tower damage there. And they're about even in the middle. Okay, Uther finishes his quest. That's going to be good for him. It's going to reduce the, his stun every time he um, he uses it. So more stuns for the red team. All right, red team already wants to set up for objective. Blue team wants to push in their camps or at least clear the red team's camps. Oh, no, Greg goes in, but misses. Red team comes back down. They're going to let the offlaners handle. Where's the taunt? Where's the taunt? Oh. Oh, he wasn't up. I get, or oh, he used it. I didn't see the taunt. All right. The red team needs to wait for taunt. Five seconds. All right. Offlaners took each um, one each on the objective. Nice. Stuns by Nubarak. Rooted, though, by Malfurion. There's one stun. Nope. They're not able to chain their stuns like I thought they would. Blue team is doing a really good job peeling for each other. As soon as one person gets stunned, someone else jumps in to help them. Oh! <laughs> nice! There's the root! Oh! Green Man goes in! Oh, that was a, they had a nice CCs on the new back, but they forgot about the back line. Greymain. Tens are ready by Blue. Oh, Hanzo takes out Jaina. Blue team has their tens and they're pushing their advantage. They want this tower. Red team needs to wait for a tent. Light bomb! A new back goes in, but there's no follow up. The light bomb was a little too early. There's still no follow up. The rest of the team was going for the tower. And they get it. All right, red team's got 10. Jaina comes online now. Mofir and Pops is old. Keeps everyone alive. Here comes Jaina. The blue team needs to wait for Jaina. Oh! Nice route by Malfurion. Stunned by Nubarak. Can they get against Jaina? Can they get Craven? Finally, Jaina comes in. And we got the flank by Ural in the back. And Nubarak's in trouble. Ural jumps in. Oh! Uther takes out the bug. But Hanzo takes Malfurion. Hanzo could be in trouble. Hanzo could be, uh, Nubrak could be in trouble too. Can they peel? Oh, no, there we go. Oh, Hanzo. He jumps in, but he's hiding. He's hiding. Okay, but this will give the objective. Are they going to wait? No, they're going to go ahead and channel it. I thought they might try to get this back. But they're playing it safe. They're going to get the double objective. Yeah, Red Team just needed a level 10s. Oh, he went for Water Elemental, not Ring of Frost. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Divine Storm for more stuns. Tranquility, Ardent Defender, Shield Wall, Locust Swarm. Locust Swarm? No Cocoon? Hmm, okay. Go for Throat, Dragon's Arrow, and Bunker Drop. All right. We'll see how Locust Swarm and um, some Elemental works. Nice stun by Nubrak, and they get it. Nubrak goes in the back line, but Taunt Light Bomb against Varian! Oh! Nice! A Nubrak zoned out, the back line Varian went in all by himself. No one can help him. 
Light bomb confirms to kill on variant. Oh my gosh, blue team is so coordinated right now. Oh, but a new back could be in trouble. Does he have a pull? Does the new back have a pull? No, must not. There he is. He was saying, sorry, bug. I'm going to wait till you get low. All right, blue team gets the tower back right after red team takes it. Blue team says, this is my tower. Meanwhile, offlaners are just AFKing their lanes. They're doing their job. Oh, Hanzo takes out Uther. But Uther's okay, he can heal. He can still heal. And I think red team is going to have to, yeah, they need to take the safe way or they're just going to give it up. Yeah, they're just going to give it up. I guess that's the safe call. They are two levels behind. All right, red team. Nubra goes in, misses though. Light bomb. Yeah, but it got coupled, but. They couldn't really do anything because everyone was in the death zone. Urella's trying to get the soak up and Blaze is trying to get the top. All right, here we go. He yells coming in for the flank. 5v4. Spotted out by Nubrak. Are they going to get Nubrak? Oh, nice taunt! They're all separate targets, though! Oh, but nice! My friend's healing everyone up! And there they go! There they go! Oh! Oh, can Hanzo do anything left? Does he have a jump? He has a jump, but doesn't make it! Oh! Nice flank by Urel. Uther died, but that's Uther. He can still heal. Nice! Alright, so when Red Team presses the button, they, ki they get their kills. They get the tower back, and I guess they're gonna get, they're gonna steal the camp. Nice plays. So that evens up the experience, 16-16. Everyone will be up for the objective. Red team will have two camps. On the, well, that one's already gone. We'll have one more camp there. How are they going to play this? Okay, so blue team wants to make sure they get the left one. Gray main's going to clear middle. And I guess they're going to try to contest it with... Alright, here we go. All fours on the bottom. They're split, though. They're split. New break goes in. He misses. Root. Light bulb. Everyone protected. Oh, light bulb didn't really hit anyone. Oh, gray main goes in and gets Jada. That's their DPS. They have no one left. Here comes Uraldo. Uther's gone. You all oh stunned by Blaze! Nice stun! Oh! Oh Anubrag's not done! Anubrag's not done! Hanzo is with him! The rest of the team is coming in! Varian could be in trouble! Oh, but nice root really by Malfurin. Peels him off. Yeah, red team was split there. Varian was in this bush, and the rest of the team was over here. So they got split. Nice plays by Blue Team. Still pretty close, 22 to 15. But Red Team's gonna lose the tower again. Varian's gonna go in. Uh, well, I guess we got the team coming in. But yeah, this this tower's gone. Oh, but a new back! There we go! Light bomb! Oh! Oh, a new back was stunned! He couldn't move with the light bomb. Malfurion's keeping everyone alive. Jaina's got to do the work. So Jaina is rooting everyone, but not enough damage. Oh, nice Hanzo, but no, no follow-up. Blaze is going to just take this other tower. UL came down from the flank, but blue team disengage. All right. Blue team's got... Um, oh, no! Oh, Jaina finally takes out Hanzo, but the blue team is still fighting. Root misses on Greymane. Oh no, but Dana gets him. Oh, Blaze comes in the back line, stuns him up. Here comes Ural. It's going to be a 5v4. Oh, Uther's dead, but that's okay. He's healing. Oh, Greymane's almost dead. Nice bunker. Anubrak's in the bunker. Everyone get in the bunker for the armor. 
Nice stun! Oh, beautiful peels! Blue tail, and they got the tower. There's the light bomb. Can they get anyone? They got one, but it's URL. Oh, Nubarak! He's he's asleep with the root. Oh, nice stun by Nubarak! Wow, so much stun, so much healing. Blue team is so low. Solo damage, Jaina was not enough. Blue team was able to get this objective. Red team is trying to get the tower back. But not in time. So is Uther supposed to be attacked? No, I don't think. I think Varian still... He went taunt. Oh no, he didn't. He went smash. That's why I don't see the taunt. Oh, you're right. So it is main tank Uther. Oh, that's why. That's why they're not confirming the kills. You are so right. That was good catch, Varial. I just assumed he was going to go with Taunt. I think he should have gone Taunt. Alright, this tower is going back again to the blue team. And they have three pumpkins there. It's a 5v5. They want to push these pumpkins. Nice blaze with the stun. Can they do anything? Light bomb to save Greymane. Oh, gets stunned, but he dies. Oh, so much damage. There's the bulk of an armor. Malfurion with the heals. Oh, so low. So low. Your uh, just jumps in. But they got the tower. Red team's got to be careful. Blaze is sleeping. Oh, you're up. Knocks him back. Oh, I think that saved him, but Blaze jumps back in. Oh, no. Oh, Varian dies. A oh, Nurbrak jumps back in. They don't care. They're just going for it. It's a brawl. Go for it. They're doing it. They have nothing to lose. It's the last game. It's the last game. There's your all. Oh. They don't care about the jerks. They just want to fight. Oh, they're going to leave Graveman out. Nope. Nope. And the win was not going to leave Graveman. <laughs> All right, so two objectives, 10 points goes to the blue team. Oh, wow, 10 points, they only had nine. That was game. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. GG. GG, blue team. Double support main tank Uther did not work. I think double support... Main tank Varian would have worked a little bit better. I mean, Hanzo, he was safe as can be, except when he, Hanzo had these two deaths when everyone, his, the rest of his teammates of the four men died and he was just kind of trapped. But otherwise, he was just picking them off and then Greyman was there to, for any of the low people. He'd just come in with the kills. Now, if you're 85 healing, 43 healing. Dana did some work, so everyone okay. kept up with Hanzo. But yeah. Fun game. They were just brawling, brawling, brawling. Well played. Well played. Alright, so that gives us... Oops, that's the wrong screen. A 1-0 lead for Flying Solo. Um, while we're waiting for the lobby, let's look at the uh, standings. As you see, um, Flying Solo has a one point lead over FC Hong Kong in 5th 6th battle. So if FC Hong Kong comes back and reverse sweeps it, they would get 2 points, get 12 points. And Flying Solo would get 1 point to 12 points, so they would be tied in points. But Flying Solo would win the tiebreaker and win fifth race because they win the head-to-head um, -head matchup. But having said that, in this division, only the top four teams goes to the playoff. So they're technically both out of the playoffs, so they're playing for pride right now. And Flying Solo is not having any of this. They want to win. They come out swinging. 
So they got one point. Let's see if they can get a domination, get three points. The best they can do is 14 points, so they would still be out of the playoff hunt. Um, so it looks like teams are having... Okay, the discussion is who's making the map, apparently. The map choice is cursed, but it would be flying solo um, would be making the map, but the captain is not responding. Haven't had pride in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Splendid Daddy. <laughs> All right, so game two, we are going to Cursed. And that is picked by um, FC Hong Kong. All right, there is the lobby. All right, lobby is up, waiting for people to come in. And we are just trickling in. First, okay, so this is a heavy macro map. I wonder if they're going to do a lot of globals here. A lot of globals like a Dehaka or Falstad or Brightwing. Oh, Ragnaros. I want to see a Ragnaros. Give me a lava wave game. Oh, uh, I love me a Ragnaros game. We'll see though. All right, everyone's in the lobby. I'll be readying up. Or a TLV. I wonder if any, either one of these teams play TLV. Or a murky. This could potentially be the last game of the season. So let's have some fun. Murky, Abathur. I would say Cho'Gal, but I don't think Cho'Gal isn't good in this map. At the very least, Ragnaros. Ragnaros is good in this map. All right, here we go. We got draft up. Let's switch over. All right, game two, Cursed Hollow. Blue team flying solo, first pick, first ban. What are they going to do? Let's see, they did target bans last time. Will they stick with it? They banned Sonya. Oh, there it is. Sonya again. First ban Sonya. Don't want to play against the barbarian female warrior. And Brightwing was the first ban for the red team. Would be another excellent ban here. Just for the global. And win. Oh. No more light bombs. <laughs> Respect down there. Okay. I like it. I like it when a player impresses the other team to warn out a band. All right. Are they going to continue with uh, target banning? And Jane. Oh, there you go. There's the respect ban. Nice, nice. Respect for each other. I like it. Well played, both teams. Well played. All right. So, Joanna ban? Stukov ban? Stuka wasn't even brought up in the first game. Interesting. I guess no one plays Stukov. Okay.
And they ban Vala. Ooh, Vala. So we have Joanna. We have Brightwing. We have Stukov. We have Ragnaros. We have TLV. 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 Come on, you know you want to. Okay, it's Brightwing. All right. I like it. I like it. Brightwing. There's one global. Are we going to see uh, another global? Hugger, there's your hugger. And Rhaegar. Hanzo again? Why not? He um, cleaned up first game. And a new wreck. Why not? He was good with those stuns. All right, so red team wants to ban the offlaner. Blaze, maybe? Oh, Leoric. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Leoric. But not Blaze. Okay. So, let's see. Red, red team needs a tank and DPS. Do they know what... Oh, Garrus. Okay. There must be another target ban. Interesting. All right. So, red team needs a tank and DPS. There's still some good tanks. There's still Chogol. Chogol's up. Are they going to do it? No, I don't think I don't think this is a good map. There's a blaze. Hammer! Okay, hammer! Alright. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Okay, blue team. Um Chromie would be good against Hammer. Um Asmodan. Um Li Ming. Hanzo's actually pretty good if Hammer's stuck behind a wall or near a wall. Actually, yeah, I was going to say, Greyman's also pretty good, too. He wants... Oh, there's the Haka. Okay, I like it. Two globals. Two globals on blue team. I like blue teams already. <laughs> Mark A, yes! <laughs> yes! Thank you, red team. Thank you. Murky and a hammer. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like last games of the season where nothing but fun is to be had. <laughs> Thank you, Red Team. Okay, I, I think Blue Team has a better team fight map or comp, but Red Team has Murky. Anything can happen with a Murky. Okay, game two of Division D East, Flying Solo versus FC Hong Kong. On the left side, blue team, we have Chocolador on Anubarak, Jade Alessis on Brightwing, Leonhardt on Greymane, Willow on Hanzo, and Secret Swift on the Haka. And on the right side, we have Splendid Daddy on Murky. Jay Tizzle on Hogger. Postman Pat on Hammer. Calorix on Blaze. And Desta on Rhaegar. Here we go. Hammer's taking that. Oh, yes. Murky solo lane. Middle. I love it. Red team's going to go for the top. There we go. I think. They're doing a 3 1 1. <laughs> I love it. Murky's going bribe on the prowl, advanced artillery, new habits, colossal totem, legions of beetles. 
lot of more viciousness, redemption, and it has agility. All right, three v two on top. What can they do? They're gonna to try to gank the hammer. Hammer needs to be careful. Oh, there's a stun. Great man can get out. Oh, nope, he wasn't close enough. All right, blue team's doing actually a good job defending the top. They got very little damage there. But it's a murky, so it's gonna be late game. Hammer's hammer and murky, it's definitely gonna be late game. Graming. Graming. Rhaegar is doing camps. Nice stun by Blaze there. Argo's gonna finish it off. Murky and Hammer both on the bottom? Okay. Oh, and Bragg has Oh, nice! Dodge by Hammer! Oh, he could have been dead because Polymorph would stop them. Would that have been enough damage? I'm not sure. But he could have been in trouble for sure. Alright, teams are getting camps. I think the key is how safe can Hammer play? They're going in. Oh, here comes Hanzo to help out. They all want hammer. They are pushing hard on this bottom. They want at least a tower. Murky's doing camps. Hammer's playing it safe, but if this wall goes down, they already got a tower, half the gate, and they're going to get this other tower. Oh, nice plays by blue team. A little bit of damage in the middle for the red. Trying to get counter pressure. Lazes slightly getting hurt by the hacker on top. Okay. Is this going to be the plan? Murky and Hammer pushing on the off lane of the objective? Nope. Hammer staying. Murky is spotted out. Oh, he's going to proxy the, the thing. Yes. Oh, the hacker gets. Killed by Hogger. I missed it somewhere. I think this is the plan. Push an off lane with Hammer and Murky can just proxy the lanes. Gonna kill <laughs> and he's yeah, Murky. <laughs> oh my god. Murky versus Bright Ray. <laughs> oh my god. Mur <laughs> Bright Ray, you're not gonna kill Murky. You are not gonna kill Murky. <laughs> oh yeah, what are we doing here? <laughs> The new Brack's going to be uh, annoying with his beetles. Hogger's doing a pretty good job. He's doing a good job, but so is the new Brack. Oh, Bravery finally killed Murky! Oh! Bravery finally killed Murky! Oh, oh nice play, Bravery. I missed it, but <laughs> nice play. Oh, new Brack! All right. The kill on Murky enabled the team to... Blue team to go back up top. They're not going to give up this objective. Newberg did a really good job holding him off. Oh no, Blaze is in trouble. Nope, he's okay. Harger goes back in though. Oh, he's on the wrong side. Harger's on the wrong side. And Newberg chasing. Hans is chasing. Blaze is trying to get them, uh, get their attention. But he could be in trouble. 350, 50. He survives with low 50 hit points. Oh my gosh, no one's gonna give this up. Murky's back up. Murky's back up. Graveman goes in! Goes in the hucker! And the wreck dives in! Oh! Hammer takes out the hucker on the bottom! Oh no! That's gonna leave Hammer easy push on bottom. But the blue team was able to get the first objective, so that's good. Oh, Murky's going for Graveman! Can he kill him? Here comes a new wreck! No! Oh! Oh! Stand by Blaze! Oh! Oh, there's no other DPS. Oh! Murky's just going to try to be annoying as he can be. He's circling back. Oh, oh, he's going to bribe. He's going to bribe it. He's spotted, though. He's going to bribe it. Bribe one, bribe two. There he is. There he is. Oh, okay. Oh, 100 hit points on Blaze. Got to play it safe. Hammer's just gonna stay here until he gets this. Daka has to prevent him. Gotta be careful though. Is Red Team gonna give it up? I think so. Oh, look at this value. He's already got to take the first tower out. Murky's gonna stall. 
Here they come. 4v3 right now. So New Rex got to take care of the... Oh, nope. He's giving it up. He's going to go... Oh! Murky! Oh! Stun! Oh! And Dog and to get on the ball! Oh! The level 10 needs to get out the Ancestral Hits! But Blaze is low! Um, no! Murky dies, but it's Murky! Oh, but Blaze dies! That's big! And Greymane dies! That's big, too! Oh! Hogger! Getting the kills! But he's all by himself now! He's all by himself! Murky is... Going to give up on Hogger. Hogger's going to get the... No, Murky's coming in. Can he stall? Does he have a stall? Nope. Alright. Both teams got 10. Okay, now we have Cocoon. Emerald win. Go for a throat. Dragon's arrow. I wonder if that was just a misclick on the first game. He really wanted Cocoon, but took... Um, the other one instead. Octograb. Octopole. Napalm Strike. Bunker. Ancestral. Alright. They are definitely going to take this one down now. Going to proxy the lane. Yeah, uh, Docker, you got to be careful. You already died twice to Hammer. But here comes the rest of the team. He's silenced. He's silenced. He's dead. Dead Hammer. Nice. Nice. And they saved it with 1,300 hit points. And they're going for boss. And the objective might be theirs if they get it. I don't think Red Team is going to contest it. Murky's going to just try to be Murky, but that's a dead fish. All right, they got boss, but getting good push on the other lanes. But it's going to be objective. Red Team's got to be careful. Here they come. They're coming with the flank. But it's Murky. It's Murky. Stunned. Nice. Nice bubble. Oh, and he still didn't get this. And the boss might get take this one out, but Hammer's back. Can they save this? I I I, I think oh, oh no, it's so close. Twenty six hundred. Oh, twelve hundred. Oh no! First fort goes to the blue team. So close on this one. Oh, they might get a second one too. I mean, red team is ahead by like half a level just because of the macro. But they're losing team fights and they're losing objectives. Oh, can they get a kill here though? Can they get a kill? There's the cocoon though. That was a nice cocoon. All right, objective is over. They lost two forts. Uh, that was a pretty productive um, curse for the red team. I mean, for the blue team. Blue team's getting camps now. Want to make sure Murky doesn't steal anymore. And the red team says, okay, you can have camps. We're going to get the boss. Hogger's going to push the bottom lane. Nice. They need to hurry. They need to hurry. Oh, here they come. Here they come. The arrow! Oh! Oh! Gets two, but... Oh, they're fighting on the point. Everyone on the point. Everyone on the point. Dog is low. Dog is low. But so oh, Murky. Murky at the Grayman. Grayman dies. Oh! Oh, and the red dies. They get the boss. The red team gets the boss. Oh! Oh my gosh, Murky was standing on point. Gets Greymane. Oh, nice. Okay, can this boss get this point? I don't know. I mean, they only have two to defend it and three reds up top. Okay, so it's 3v3 with the boss and the fort. Yep. I think this fort's down. Okay. The first fort for the red team. Red team is going in. Blue team. All blue teams here. They need to be careful. Oh, beautiful stun. Greyman has to dive back out. Emerald win for disengage. Cocoon on blaze for disengage too. Okay. That was a nice disengage by the blue team. Oh, look at this. How much damage this tower. I mean, the siege camp that Murky bribed. 
got one tower, the gate, and most of the other tower. And Hammer took out the bottom tower. So they're even on um, forts. And even on ob objectives. Zero, zero in that case. All right, here we go. Everyone's kind of split. Murky is on the bottom. A new break dives in. Hammer's already set up. Uh, I guess blue team's going to give it up because... Oh, Murky! Murky! Murky's being murky. Can he get him? Here comes Donka for the help. Here goes Brightwing. Tell him on Murky! Everyone's go for Murky! <laughs> he uses the bubble already! Oh! <laughs> Five men to take out Murky. <laughs> they wanted Murky. Red team says, okay, you can have Murky. We'll go get camps. We'll go push. One and a half level lead for the red team. Oh, they're diving in, but red team was there. Oh, disengaged by, by, um, Brightwing, the Emerald Wind is getting value. Oh, but he's not out of it yet. Oh, Hogger dives in. Hogger dives in, gets Great Mane. They're pushing. Hammer's here with a camp. <laughs> Murky's after the beetle. Murky's after the beetle. He goes unstoppable, though. Oh, nice. Four man stun. But the beetle's stolen to low. Oh, my gosh. Blade comes in with Murky. They're running him over with Murky. Hammer's taking out this fort. Hammer doesn't want the team fight, but he wants his fort first. <laughs> Two level lead. And they're pushing mid. Blaze and Hammer just pushing. Nope, but they're leaving. Okay, they're going to give it up. Oh, Docker. Docker killed Murky, so that's good, but it's Murky. And red team is... I don't think... Blue team is going contested. They're probably guessing they're there, but they're not sure. All right. I guess they're playing safe. All right. Are they going to invade? Nope. Red team's going to give that. Give up the camp. Murky's just in the back. Oh, harder pull down by Augur. He's going in the back line. Oh, nice slow by Rhaegar. Takes out a Nubarak. Emerald Wind gets a... Uh, peels him off, but... Uh, Augur. Brightwing! Brightwing! Oh! Brightwing didn't get in there time. Augur dies. Not enough. Not enough. Augur... Augur's going wild. Oh! Nope. Bad bounce on Augur. He was trying to get the Augur, but he didn't get the bounce. Oh my gosh, there's the curse. Only question is, how many keeps are they going to get? The lanes aren't too bad for the blue team. So, I mean, the blue team can still defend this. But, red team's got 20s. No control, yay! Ultra capacitors, fortified bunker, fossil blasting, and the big tuna kahuna! Murky's health goes up and respawn, but the respawn is doubled, so if he dies, that could be terrible. But he's got more health now. Oh, and he's going in. He's going in. He wants Brightwing. It's the fish versus the fairy. Oh, all the health in the world not going to help you there. You got uh, Nexus and four people. Oh, Arrow misses. They get a kill. Oh my gosh, so much damage, so much the Ancestral, I'm not sure you needed Ancestral, but okay. Just to play it, and there's the, the dead bug, dead bug, dead bug, yes. Alright, keeps are falling. Keeps are gonna fall. The Haka is AFK pushing on the bottom. He didn't want any part of that team fight. This is GG. All right, <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, thank you, blue team. That was fun.
That was definitely fun. All right. Let's see. Murky. One real death. But let's look at this. 15k and silky damage. I mean, Doc had more, but... Six, 116. I mean, Doc had did a good job matching Murky. But Murky deaths versus Dahaka deaths. That's a big difference. And Hammer was just pelting away in the background. And Hogger, look at this. Nine kills by Hogger. Nine kills. He was just jumping the backline. <laughs> well played. Well played, blue team. I mean, red team. Oh, I gave that to the wrong team. Let me fix that. There you go. Even though, game three. We get a game three. Nothing can be more exciting than a game three. With nothing to lose. So the question is, what are we going to see this time? What are we going to see? I haven't heard anything. All right, let me let me see if I can find that. I'll be right back. And as soon as I say that, they got map choice. We are going for infernal shrines. So let me mark that up. And that was picked. By, I believe, Flying Cello. Okay, so far, whoever picked the map wins because they have a specific strategy, I assume. Yeah, Murky's fun because you can die and you come back right right back up and you don't get you don't lose too much too much experience to the other team and he's just so annoying because he's got that bubble to keep him alive and if you, if you do kill him it comes right back up <laughs> oh he's fun he's a troll pick because most teams if they expect it they can deal with it but on large maps like this, he can be annoying. So, the real question is, are they going to ban Murky? I don't think they'll play Murky three, two games in a row. I think um, they just want to have fun, and they're going to play something else. I think this is a good choke all map. I'm just saying. But we'll see. We'll see if they're going to try hard or have fun. All right. We are all tied up. Game three. Flying Solo versus FC Hong Kong. First pick, first ban to the red team. FC Hong Kong. What are they going to ban? I think should ban Hanzo because this is a good Hanzo map. Bounce those arrows in the objective. Or are they going to... Oh, Grey Main? Okay, respect ban. Murky MVP. Yes, definitely Murky MVP. <laughs> Just because he's so fun. So fun to watch. Fun, so fun to cast. MVP whoever was drafting. They said, let's let's pull the trigger on Murky. Sonya again? Okay, so 
Um, blue team is going standard band. Sonya is a really good hero for this map. Spin to win on the shrine. Oh, there you go. Respect bands. Hanzo, I think, will be the next band. I would think. But no gray main and a new brack. And Hogger. Yes, Hogger. This is Hogger's best map. And as we've seen, that Hogger is played by the red team. So they took out two good offlaners for the objective. That was good, good banning there for um, the blue team. Kalthos. Oh, oh, spread those firebombs. He's also good for the objective, too, because everyone likes to clump up. All right. Are you going to take Hanzo here? Or are you going to take Joanna? Joanna's up. Oh, Rhaegar. No one's played... I guess neither of these teams play Stukov. And May. Doesn't play Joanna either, I guess. Okay. Okay, Stukov would have been good because you put that puddle in the middle of the objective. No one's going to be saying anything. All right. So, Red Team Malthal. Okay, for the offlaner. And area. Ooh, area. Interesting. Interesting. I like um, red team's draft so far. I likey, likey, likey. All right. Blue team. Are you going to take your hands up again? I don't see why not. It's good on this map. Scatter those arrows. Oh, they banned it. <laughs> oh, they were expecting. I Red team was setting up for... Chogal with that Oriel pick. Oh, but it got sniffed out. It got sniffed out. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, nice try, red team, and good job, blue team, for sniffing it out. Okay. Are they going to ban Hanzo? Nope. Tassadar. Tassadar is also good on this objective. Sad days, not gonna get choked off. But blue team, that was good good job drafting that or banning it. A nice try, red team. Alright, so blue team needs an offlaner and DPS. Chromie, okay, I like it. Chromie's good. Lots of damage here. And oh my F getting spicy. Blue team is getting some spice now. There's Joanna. Okay, no Chogal, so we'll go ahead and take Joanna. And who's your other DPS? Vala's up. I'm gonna take Vala. Or Tychus. Need some sort of auto attacker. Cassia, okay. So, a mostly standard draft for our red team. Failed attempt for Chogal. Blue team has a nice draft also. Who is their offlaner going to be? Blaze, maybe? Blaze is still up. Leork still up. And they decide Leork. There you go. Okay. So, a little spice with Kothas and Maev. We'll see who can pull off their combos. I guess it's going to be Warden Cage with Entomb. And then... I guess May's going to set it up with the Frost Wall. And then you Entomb who's ever in, in it. I think that's the combo for the Blue King.
Why not Blaze in the KT? Yep, I would have picked Blaze for the bunker. I mean, if KT goes Pyroblast, then you definitely want the bunker, but we'll see. He might take Phoenix. We'll see if it's a good choice. All right. Game three. Final game of NGS for both teams. Going to game three. I love it. We have Chocolador on May, Jade Elise on Rhaegar, Leanheart on Chromie, Willow on Maiev, Secret Swift on Lee Yorick. And on the right side, we have Postman Pratt on Malthal, Calyrex on Kalthas, Splendid Daddy on Joanna, Desta on Cassia, and Jay Tizzle on Oriole. All right, let's see. Heat Transfer, Totem, um, Q Build, Suit of Vengeance, a Sudden Re Renewal on the Pale Horse, Mana Addict, Zealous Glare, Thunder Strike, and Increasing Clarity. All right, you're right. Last Rites, I forgot about Malfell. Pyro and Last Rites. Bunker would have been a lifesaver there. Well, maybe they wanted the combo. With the Entomb, the Silence Entomb at level 20. Oh no! Chromie! Chromie! Oh, her little legs couldn't take her fast enough. KT gets the kill. Alright. First blood to the red team. Oh, Meg dives in. Trying to go for KT, but there's no follow-up. Alright, Chromie's back. It's gonna go join. No one's doing camps yet. Camp sniffed out by Maya, but I don't think there's anything they can do about it. May's going to try to annoy him, but Joanna's pushing him back. The little blizzard, push him away. Oriole. <laughs> Oriole got pushed in, uh, pulled in by Maya. They're fighting for it. I didn't think, that. oh, here we go. It's 5v4 in the bottom. Can they get him, anyone? They're so low. Oh, no. Nice pull by Maya. The no gas! Oh, there we go. Tanks it down. Tanks it down. But the camp is stop! Oh! Oh, Ariel couldn't keep Cassie alive. And Blue Team steals it. Blue Team pulls in five to get the camp. Malthal says, forget that. I'm an offlaner. I'm staying in the offlane. I'm not going to do team fights. That's not my job. Nice plays by Blue Team. Experience is pretty much even, but Red Team's got the slight lead. Alright, here we go. Mace checking. Could she be in trouble? Nice condemn. Oh, but she's got a trait. Rager's there. Maya's trying to zone people out. Alright. Gonna give give the camp to the Red Team. Mafal's clearing the camp in the middle. Mathlot's getting camps over here. He's gonna try to time it for the objective, but he's a little late. Blue team's first on the objective. Here comes the red team. Alright, it's gonna be 4v4 on the, on the objective. Chromie's coming up. Mathlot's still finishing it off. He's really low in health, though. He's hearthing. He's gonna be late for the objective. So it's 5v4. Oh, May hits the combo on Cassia. But Cassia's got armor, so he's okay. Maya pulls him back in. Oh, oh, Cassia's going for Maya. Nice. Chromie's just pelting him away in the back. No one even cares about Chromie. Oh, here comes Malthal. He's finally back. 5v5. Maya is low, though. Oh, Malthal almost gets Maya. Maya's got back out. Malthal's low, too. He's May drives in. Can they get Malto to heal? Oh, I thought Malto was going to survive. May, uh, Maya's coming back and she tapped up. Oh, yo, oh, 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 May! Takes that tube of Kalthas. Takes that Learic, but he's Lauric, so who cares? But, Red Team was able to steal the, the objective. Oh, May! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, May. Go! <laughs> I have to use a trait. <laughs> Oh, 
if red team had any mana and health points and was able to push with it, May could have been in trouble. But some had to back and so the rest was going to soak. All right, slight experience lead for the blue team. Are they going to try to gank him? No. I guess they were... Oh! They're not gank him. They're going to steal the camp. Oh, Jordan's good, doing a good job zoning. They got to hurry. They got to hurry. Red team's got to hurry. Did they not finish it in time? They're all here. 5v5 for a camp. Another for all of the camps. Oh, my head's diving in. Oh, KT goes down. There goes... Oh, no. There goes the healer. Oh, that was a good try. Good. Oh, no. Four. Four man Malthalsus. Okay, I've had enough. I'm going back to the offlane. Oh, but blue team says no offlane for you. Five man team life. All for a camp. Oh. Not worth it. Good try, though. I like the risk. I like the call. I mean, why not? Well, other than giving 10 for the blue team. Alright, camps are being had by the blue team. Red team, two level deficit. Red team needs to f play for 10s. Okay, I don't think you need both of you there. Yeah. Okay, John is leaving. Are they trying to get the arc? Yeah, okay. Alright. Almost tense for red team. John's coming in for a flank. Can they get anything? Cassie goes in. There's the warning cage on Cassia. Oh, Chromie takes... Oh, snowball! Was that a disengage? Or Yeah, okay. Well, that actually kind of saved him. But they, they isolated Jonna and got the kill. Oh, nice. Okay, Malthal. Did he get a stack? I don't think he got a stack. Oh, no, he did get a stack. He got one. Okay, so both last rights and Pyroblast for the red team. Let's see if they could put that good use. With the red team's tens, they have a fighting chance now. All right, Malthal is still busy doing camps. He's gonna be there for a while. But red team's got an early lead. But that might not hold if people die. Joe's doing the best she can to zone people out, but it's 5v4. It's 5v4. They need to peel out, go backwards. Oh, and Tomb gets it. Oh, nice. Man, oh, killed us an Ariel. Oh, that was a beautiful Entomb. That was... Oh, yeah, Red Team really needed to... Oh, Cassie are so slow. Liorgus, oh, Cassie pulls them off. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Red Team needed to get out of there a lot faster since they didn't have all five people. But they're getting some value up top. But this bottom fort is definitely gone. I don't think they can get this top fort. Oh, Joe. Joe, here comes the rest of the team. Can they turn? Can they turn? Can they turn? Nope. All right. Blue fort. Blue got the fort on the bottom and a pretty healthy objective. All right, so red team is finally going to take out the objective there, but blue team wants the middle for it. Nope, combo misses on Ariel. All right. 
Red team needs to regroup. Here we go. 5v4, but blue team is going away. Smart call on the blue team. Oh, here we go. They're going to invade. Nope. Blue team was able to take the camp. But it's 5v4. Can they do anything? Red team is split, though. Red team is split. Oh, here comes 5v5. Here we come. And Tomb gets one, but that's okay. Oh! Leor could be in trouble, but so is May. Oh, but May's got trait. leor has got trait. Oh. Ariel saves him, but oh, they're all focusing on Leoric. Malfa goes down and they're focusing on the undead king. Oh, no. Oh. They're going for... Can they get Cassia? She's got armor, though. Is that enough armor? May is chasing. But, yep. Cassia survives with her armor. But this fort is going down. Red team was so split. Three people was on Leoric. Of course, it could be also said Leoric was on the back line, so they had to deal with the back line first. Alright, Maev doesn't care. Oh, nice! Shield by um, Joanna. Can they follow up? Any follow up? Nice pull! Where's the. Okay. They get the kill. I was gonna say, where's the last rights for the Pyro Blast, but they're all in cooldown. All right, with Mayav dead, what can the red team do? They're getting camps. Oh, Rhaegar, 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 oh! Can they get anything? Cassia, can you get him? You got nothing, no stuns. Uh, see, that's the problem with the red team. They don't have enough CC. You have Joanna, and then you have KT. Oh, Snowball missed! Snowball missed! The red team needs to get out of there. And Tomb gets two! Oh no! And they block everyone off. They're, they're split again. Cassia's gone. Oh no! They need to cut it out. Joe, Joe's dead, but can anyone else? KT, I think, is dead. KT is dead, yes. Oh. Those and Tombs. Not only did it get two, but it split off the rest of the team. And this keep is gone. First keep of the game. I mean, red team got the camp, but they're going to trade a fort per camp. So far, the Leoric pick over Blaze is working out. I guess they knew what they were doing. And they say this middle fort. Alright, I think this objective is going to blue team because they got a three level lead. But they need to fight before 20s. They got, blue team has so many slows. Unstoppable by May. Saves her. Joe's in the back line trying to peel her on. And Tomb gets Ariel. Oh, oh my gosh. Joe's in trouble. Malthol's in trouble. Oh, I was doing the best they can, but not enough. Not enough healing by Ariel. Oh, that's a five-man team wipe. And blue team is... Are they going core? They can't go core yet. Too early. That time was too small. But they're trying for it. Okay, here we go. I like the call. Everyone's going to be back up in 20 seconds. They're going to get some damage, but... I think they're going to need to get some more kills first. But they do have level 20s. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Shadow of Unthrest, Piercing Sands, Cascade, Burial Life. Oh, yeah, I was wrong. That's GG. GG. The level 20 advantage was enough. Oh, Fire Blast was just cast right there. But enough. All right. I was wrong about the Blaze pick or non-pick. Leoric was, was definitely the choice.
MVP Leoric with those in tombs. Nice, nice place. Chromie with the 50k. Kalthos with 45. So, that was well played by Blue Team. I can't say anything bad about it. I mean, it was very well played. All right, let me see if I can get an interview. Uh, let me jump in here. And let me see if I can grab someone from Blank Solo. All right, where fourth art thou flying solos? Oh, hello, hello. Hey, Peldor. GG, well played. GG's, everyone. That was a really fun series. It was. And Caden's here with us, also. The, I assume you're the captain? Yeah, manager. Captain, more like manager. A, more like a permanent sub, but I don't, I don't know. Well, it's a long story. He manages story. stuff, keeps things organized, you know. Okay, sounds good. Well, GG, well played. GG's, everyone. All right, so... Oh, here we go. And we got Leonard. Okay. Anyone else? Can we get the full team? <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, maybe not. Tired after that. Oh, yeah. okay. That was a um, tiring. Tiring? Game. That was... So you say you want a short interview. We can keep this short if you want. No, I mean, I just... That was that was an intense series. It was. It was. Okay, so let's talk about Terrors of Doom. You picked that. Right. And did you have a game plan? Were you surprised with the double support? It wasn't really what we were expecting, but I mean... The double support was very surprising, and then when they locked Smash as well. So yeah. yeah. I actually didn't catch that they picked Smash until late in the game, until someone on Twitch noticed it. I just assumed it was going to be Taunt. I heard... I realized he was Smash as soon as I heard the... Oh, oh you're right, the, the audio TV. cue. <laughs> <laughs> I think if they had gone taunt, that would have been a, cl a lot closer game. Yeah, I mean, the game plan, plan on Towers of Doom is always capture the enemy's bottom tower right. and then hold it for the rest of the game, and then you win. Right. And whichever team does that better wins. Right. You captured it, you lost it, but then you captured it again, you lost it again, <laughs> but then you captured it again. Oh, See? that turret, that, that, like cannon thing whatever must have died like 10 times that match. yeah they were definitely Four fighting for that the word. but okay i want to talk about a game too <laughs> were you surprised about murky were you surprised about hammer yeah i think we just didn't deal with them correctly we chased the murky too often and let the murky get away with too much yes yeah and... it's not worth killing murky because he just responds right away yeah we kind of just fell behind in xp and i think it just sort of snowballed yeah they were definitely going for the macro game because they gave up the yeah, first three objectives kept, uh, grouping up into the same lane we needed to have one guy in each lane i think to deal with that a bit better right yeah. uh, as soon as they got the lead it was hard to, to push back especially yeah, when i hard to draw them properly once they have a lead Right. Much better clear, much better macro, much better just XP gain in general. So it was really hard to catch back up. Right. Because you had more of a traditional fight comp, but they were definitely yeah, just, worse. I, I was struggling so hard to get redemption stacked because I, they weren't close enough for me to auto attack them for like most right. of the game. I really should have gone cube build or something. Right. By the way, I gave Hanzo MVP in the first game. Thanks. But I gave Mark to MVP on the second game. Fair. <laughs> and then third game, I gave Leark the... Oh, absolutely. Those yeah. in Tombs. Uh, yeah. Swift, those in Tombs were legendary. And I was saying, why not um, Blaze put a bunker against Malfell and Kel'Thas? Hmm? But it's you proved me idea. wrong. I, those... I love the leoric Maev combo because they can be entombed and then i place my warden's cage around them and like what are they gonna do right i thought the combo was gonna be a um, maze um ice wall 
into the tomb, into the warden's cage. But she went. I guess we decided on avalanche for the disengage. Yeah, I saw that. Actually, one of the snowballs saved them, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's bound to happen. Right. You can't, build, can't build get them all. Finicky. So, sadly, that is the last game of NGS. Yeah. It's a shame. I, I've really enjoyed this. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the games that I casted for y'all. It yeah. was fun. And I enjoy your casting and going back and reviewing. Uh oh, I hope I said some good stuff about you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I really loved your sure cast next. I can take it. No, no, I mean, your Hanzo in the first game was was spectacular. Thank you. It was really good. So I was actually you surprised you didn't take it in the third game. Because isn't Hanzo good in this map with the walls? I just love Maiev on Infernal Shrines. She just can control everything. She has good shrine clear. She can teleport around in all the different chokes and pull people around and mess people up with Warden's Cage. It's just personal choice, really. I see. Personal okay. Preference, that is. Okay. Well, uh... Um... a bit more sturdier for Willow's Agro place, though. <laughs> I'm a very aggressive player. <laughs> a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah. we saw you dive in. Okay. I just love my Ev. She's probably one of the most fun characters in the entire game. Okay, well then, I have to ask, why didn't you pick my Ev in the first two games? Hanzo's been a relatively new pickup for me, and I just wanted to test him out, you know? Uh, okay. Let me test him in a few games, see how it feels. It well, felt pretty good. Yeah, I'd say you did very well with Hanzo. Thank you. Of course, it was the whole team effort, so your, the rest of your team did good too. Obviously, yes. They yeah. did a very good job of keeping all of the enemies off me so I could auto attack for right, free. Right. Nubrak, um, in the first game, kept diving in every time someone on the other side tried to um, stun anyone. I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, she's going back in. <laughs> <laughs> but it all worked out yep well ggs um hopefully um i guess i'll catch you in the next season or maybe ccs yeah. probably play in ccs who knows, who knows? nothing's really set in stone yet yeah but uh thank you for casting our games i had fun thank you so much yeah and i hope you have a wonderful night thank you you too well Thank you. Thank you. GG's to you, too. All right. So that concludes tonight's um, matchup, which I this is my last NGS regular season. From here on out, it will be um, playoff season. Um, it actually starts this week. Um, some divisions have already finished, so they are going at it. In fact, I will... Um, read you over to Raqqa, which I believe is a playoff game between CM Daybreak versus Hard Stuck um, Hard Stuck Support Group um, so say ha hello to Raqqa for me, and thank you for watching um, and good night everyone I will see you next time There is Joe in the back line. Uh, Skeletal Mage has come out, kind of like stopping um, a retreat from Varian. There is the massive shove, a lot of ults being used real quick. Varian down about 50% health, and we are up to 14 Skeletal Minions. We do going to have the Tassar trying to get stuff done. Random Engineer down to about 30%, about 20% health. No one else having taken significant damage just yet.